Okay, here is a nice mil spec lantern, 1959 Coleman. Etched writing on the uh, on the quad glass. Very clean inside. Vent has three small chips. Good otherwise. Have mantles, wrench, spare pricker, and uh, pump leather. Has the funnel. Good decals all around. And the bottom shows 1959. Camp light single mantle. Model number is LRL 21A. I think uh, late 1950s. If you can read. Very hard to read because the paint is nice. They're very clean inside. Nice decal. Clean bottom. Very nice vent. And it has the original box. From Chicago, Illinois. LRL 21A. Okay, I found a burgundy for you. Not bad paint. A little bit of rust in the frame. A couple spots here on the vent and in the back. But it is a real burgundy. It is the common date of 1061. And 1061 getting very hard to find and a black band pretty nice frame and collar yeah vent has these chips but it is the correct vent with the small bale hole and it has a um, sunshine globe I don't know if you can see it There's the sun, sunrise. There it is. And the date on this is 8 of 52. A couple of stoves, Peak 1576, single burner. Shows some use, but not bad. Date is 278 and a brown peak one model 400 a little bit of rust that'll come off the feet not too bad otherwise show some use date on this is 1279 and here's a model 226 brand new in the box dead stock that nice picket fence globe, clean inside, hasn't been taken apart. 397 is the date, bail, bent, mantles, and the instruction manual in the original box. More stoves, single burner 442, dual fuel, pretty clean. A little bit of rust there on that leg. Nice otherwise, and a date of 293. Brown 400A, black 400A. Again, show some use. Not bad. That'll all clean up. And a date stamp of 
486. This is a propane stove, just mounts on a um, propane bottle. I think it's model number 5438. And there's a date on there of 489. Kind of the same burner. And here's a brown 400A, excuse me, 400. Peak one, pretty clean. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Date of 179, so early. And it comes with the uh, Peak One Cook Kit. A few little dents in it. But overall, good use condition. You asked me for enamelware. So I found this really nice Coleman set. It's not real old, it's from the 1990s. And it's the percolator. Very clean inside. And has a clean basket. And then uh, three cups. They all have the Coleman logo, diamond logo on there. And uh, they're all very clean. No chips. I think the only thing on here is uh, a little brown spot right there that's it and then this really neat uh, kind of robin's egg blue speckled pot a little bit of chipping that'd be really fun camp cook pot with the bale handle it stays up and then uh, this old red and white this is vintage the pot with the lid. Again, a few little chips. But that just means it's vintage. More vintage enamel wear. This little double boiler set, white with blue. Nice lid. A few little nicks. A little staining in there that probably will clean up. But a nice little size to. Uh, Heat up some water. Vintage funnel. And then this white uh, measuring cup. 32 ounce, which is two US quarts or one liter. And it is very clean. No chips in that. The last of the uh, enamel wear, the three spoons. They're small, a little rust, but that would probably come off easy. One little chip there. A uh, copper mug, West Bend. I believe this is from the 1950s. Let's see here, yeah, this way. Solid copper, West Bend Aluminum Company. In 1961, they stopped using the word aluminum in their name, so it has to be before 1961. And then very hard to find now, uh, Griswold cast iron. It's a uh, number eight skillet, 10 inches. Griswold logo, probably 1950s. That was kind of their last logo design. Sits flat, could be reseasoned or used as is. Several interesting things. This must be from about 20 years ago. Made by Shred Alert, Hood River, Oregon. So this was a Pods eyeglass holder and uh, ear warmer. So made by early winters, and then they've modified it to hold uh, sunglasses, I guess, while you ski or outside. But this comes out and your real glasses fit in there. This is a souvenir from Yosemite. It's a copper metal um, ashtray, Oops, turn like this, made in the USA, I don't know, maybe 1950s, 60s, nice picture, half dome, looks like your logo, uh, Aladdin hand warmer, mark 1973, Johnny hand warmer, 
and it is never used, so it would be uh, dead stock. Very nice. A few fishing things. Umco 133U. This is their plastic Umco light box. Three shelf. Pretty clean. And then a uh, fly fishing reel. Has some nice line on it. There's no no marking other than uh, it does say Japan. This is a uh, fleece vest from uh, Eastern Mountain Sports EMS. 100% polyester, men's medium. I do see it has a little spot there. Another one there. Um, otherwise, not bad condition. Looks pretty good. These are new uh, dead stock outdoor research Rocky Mountain Low Gators. They don't have a size on them. But I think it's kind of one size fits all. Uh, REI, like corset pad, 1.5 inches, so it's self-inflating, very light, I believe this is new, uh, I didn't take it out of the package, I don't think it's ever been out of the package. Also uh, new, it's a uh, flint and steel for starting a fire, Strike Master. And it is unopened. And then a uh, beanie with a tassel. It is Patagonia. There's a tag in here. Right there. It says size large, made in France. Wool and acrylic. Anyway, nice little hat, good condition. I did find two Pataloha shirts. This is limited edition 2019, so two years ago, small, very neat pattern. It's the same on the other side. And then another one of the, this is the Chouinard uh, climbing pattern. It has the uh, carabiners, the climber rings. Um, this was from 1998. And again, men's small. So really uh, unusual and hard to find Just shirts. to include these, I did show you pictures before, but these are all the new Columbia T-shirts, two Yellowstone designs, and two uh, Yosemite designs. I think there are uh, 18 Clothing. total. So our uh, North Face hiking pants. Men's large. They're all nylon. Good condition. These are uh, brand new with tags. Gramichi hiking pants. Authentic. There he is, the belt. So these are uh, brand new. New dead stock mountain hardware. It's a balaclava. Large. Nice fleece. Have two uh, 
Eastern Mountain Sports EMS padded water bottle bags, I guess to go on your belt or on your pack. Not sure they've been used. And then here's a pair of uh, men's Teva sandals. Not bad condition. Um, size, let me see if I can get this so you can read it. Japan, size 29, men's uh, USA 11. Maybe those would be good for the summer. This is very interesting. I think somebody put this together. Um, but it is this padded case. It says coaster. And, uh, inside it has two of these stands. And they're made to fit over a um, single burner stove. And then you have a, um, this is a windscreen. So it can sit like that. So I already showed you the stove, but I just wanted to show how it fits like right on top. And then uh, of course it has a Coleman filter funnel in it. So these two, these all fit inside. And you could even put a, uh, put the stoves in there too. I guess that's a base. These fit in here. Just like that. So interesting. A lot of books. A lot of Yosemite. It's kind of a neat photographer's guide to Yosemite. Where to take pictures. History. There's a guidebook. National Park Guidebook. And then these are kind of light pamphlets. And then these are both brand new top trails. Uh, Yosemite hikes everybody must do. So it has all the hikes in Yosemite listed. And then four just general backpacking books. That one's cooking. This is ultralight, simplicity, hiking and backpacking, and that one's Day Hiker's Handbook. All the books are in very good condition.